the integrated version of backup inside of uh, in Central and, and even inside of the uh, uh, Insight RMM product, um, um, it's based on the same code base, but it does uh, have a, a small feature gap uh, as it comes to platforms or customizable retention or um, uh, types of reporting and things of that nature that exist. Uh, there are some initiatives in place to expand reporting uh, functionality uh, as monitors inside of InCentral. I'm working on some of those actually for my end power uh, sessions even. Um, so we'll be adding those uh, here you know, very, very shortly. Um, you'll be able to use that inside of InCentral regardless of whether it's the integrated version or um, standalone version. Um, um, Cove, from a brand perspective though, was designed to um, allow us to market and, and better um, uh, better promote uh, the standalone version. You know, uh, uh, backup by itself is not a real good brand name, if you will. Uh, so we've got InCentral from a platform perspective. We've got Cove from a backup perspective. Um, so I think it'll all take on the Cove monitor. Um, are there advantages to using the integrated version versus standalone? It's really a question of where do you want your reporting and how do you want to do your deploy? Do you want to do a single partner tree to manage or do you want to have uh, separate partner trees? Do you want different users with different rights and permissions accessing each of the applications or do you want it um, centralized with one set of users? Uh, some folks like separation of church and state, different texts for backup versus RMM. Uh, others like it all under one dashboard. Um, I think we will be getting to future days where uh, you'll be able to launch uh, Cove directly from InCentral and manage and control um, and not have to deal with separate integrations uh, that we would get closer to future parity. Uh, but that is still a ways out. Um, you know, obviously forward-looking statements there. Okay.